The Water Corporation of Western Australia owns and operates one of the world's longest and oldest water pipelines. This engineering landmark was masterminded by the brilliant C.Y. O'Connor at the turn of the 20th century. The goldfields and agricultural water supply mainline conduit is 560 kilometres long and has been delivering water from Perth to Kalgoorlie for over a hundred years. Today, 320 kilometres of the original pipe remains in service. The pipeline now supports more than $2.5 billion of economic activity annually, generated by thousands of farms, towns and mining concerns along its length. To protect the inside from corrosion, this pipeline was among the first to be lined with cement mortar, which remains the lining of choice in most potable water applications. The entire 560 kilometres was lined by hand in the 1930s. In the 1990s, this lining began to fail and corrosion was seriously threatening the pipeline's integrity. An asset management plan concluded that a maintenance solution, rather than complete replacement of the pipe, was the most economical way to extend its effective life. To address this need, an entire suite of processes and equipment has been designed and developed in-house by the Water Corporation's innovative Pipeline Refurbishment Group. The refurbishment process involves an initial condition assessment, subsequent financial evaluation of renewal options and implementation of the resulting maintenance and refurbishment solutions. Current capabilities of this sophisticated system include long-range camera inspection, condition assessment based on the data gathered, water flow bypassing, lining removal, mortar relining, and post-lining inspection. To facilitate work on a pipeline, the relevant section is shut down, isolated, and up to two and a half kilometres of lay-flat hose is installed to bypass water flow around the work area. Short lengths of pipe are removed from the bypassed section to allow access for the refurbishment equipment. Refurbishment is carried out using state-of-the-art equipment, including a range of self-powered vehicles that work safely and continuously inside the pipe. The degraded cement lining is removed by a remotely operated vehicle which blasts high pressure water from rotating lances fitted with tungsten jets. This vehicle is controlled from an external office via an optical fibre cable and is supplied with high pressure water by a 90mm hose. Transferring at a rate of 250 litres per minute and a pressure up to 1400 bar, this jet of water cuts the old lining from the pipe wall. The blasting vehicle is pulled through the pipe by a pair of remote controlled wireline winches located at both ends of the work section. Most of the debris is then scraped out and the remaining fine residual is flushed from the pipe by an array of jets mounted at the front of the blasting vehicle, leaving the pipe shell clean and ready for relining. The Goldfields pipe was manufactured using single sheets rolled into half pipe sections and joined using a long locking bar. It is referred to as locking bar pipe and an additional process called coving is required to prepare this type of pipe for relining. A fillet of cement mortar is sprayed over the internally protruding locking bar to fill the area between the bar and the pipe wall. This action prevents the formation of a shadow area that would otherwise result during the centrifugal lining process to follow and it also assists the subsequent troweling operation. The coving machine features a semi-automated shot creating head which is energised by an oil-free compressor and fed mortar from an onboard reservoir.
A man-operated relining machine then centrifugally applies fresh cement mortar lining to the inside of the pipe at a consistent thickness. This machine uses an automatic rotating trowel mechanism to produce a smooth surface finish. An external mixing plant stationed at the equipment access point provides the mortar for this process. One ton bags of specially pre-blended sand and cement are mixed in a planetary motion pan mixer with automatically measured amounts of water and other additives. The lining vehicle features a mortar reservoir and pump, battery and application trolleys coupled together. The operator commences the lining application at the furthermost point from the mixing plant and then reverses back along the pipe so as not to run over the freshly laid lining. The vehicle's mortar reservoir is refilled via a manned mortar transfer vehicle which shuttles back and forth between the mixing plant and the lining vehicle allowing for near continuous operation. Once the mortar has cured, a lining inspection is carried out. The mortar thickness is measured using an eddy current probe to ensure it conforms to Australian standards. A report and graph of the inspection are then produced for the client. As the new lining is approved, the pipe cutouts are progressively reinstated. Once the relevant section has been completed, that part of the pipeline is returned to service. These unique maintenance solutions are extremely adaptable. The entire refurbishment process and fleet of special purpose vehicles can be readily adapted to suit any specific customer requirements. The Goldfields pipeline may be 760 millimetres in diameter, but our maintenance solutions can be modified to suit a variety of pipe diameters to provide either isolated repairs or complete refurbishment. The in-situ lining process we employ offers considerable advantages over the standard spun-in factory linings, including a homogeneous composition ensuring increased life, a higher density lining, a stronger mortar to steel bond due to our unique mix design, zero risk of handling, transportation or construction damage, and most importantly, a saving of 40 to 70 percent of the cost of new pipe. These innovative asset management optimization solutions have been recognized with three prestigious awards for engineering excellence. The Pipeline Refurbishment Group has a proud philosophy of continuous innovation and improvement, and future plans include the development of a remotely operated lining machine, advanced safety systems, lower deployment costs, and increased productivity rates. For further information, contact the Water Corporation.